Ultra precise hand prosthesis controlled with mind. Scientists from the University of Michigan have developed extremely a precise prosthetic hand, so functional that you can use it to fasten buttons shirt. The works of scholars herald a new generation of mind controlled prostheses and give amputees the opportunity to better operate on bionics limbs. A physically fit person performs his daily activities without effort and without thinking about the network of nerves needed to move with thumbs, fingers or hands. A method developed by researchers from the University of Michigan allows you to continue to enjoy this blissful unconsciousness, even when someone lost limb. All you need is a learning algorithm and some transplants muscles. New technology described in an article published in Writing Science Translational Medicine seems to be more effective than the previous one's attempts to combine brain activity with the movement of the prosthetic limb. Scientists they achieve this with a new procedure that allows the signals to be amplified nervous and better communication with the bionic hand. The new way is to separate the nerve bundles into smaller fibers that allow for more precise control and reinforcement signals passing through the nerves. This approach includes transplantation a small piece of thigh muscle and the use of machine learning algorithms borrowed from brain computer interfaces. It works like a megaphone for cut off people nerves, allowing participants to make precise movements such as lifting a small object or moving the zipper. That's the biggest advance in motor control you amputees for many years, said Paul Cederna, one of the author's publications. We have developed a technique that enables precise and intuitive finger control of prosthetic devices using the rest in the limb nerve patient. Thanks to this, we were able to provide the most advanced prosthetic control the world has seen added. As scientists have admitted, denture control is intuitive and no learning required. Works right away. You can force your prosthetic hand to doing a lot of things, but that doesn't mean the person controls them intuitively. The difference is that on the first attempt it only works at the thought of this and this is our approach said Cindy Chestak, CEO author research. Our approach worked on the first attempt. Participants they didn't have to learn experiments. All learning takes place in ours algorithms. This is how we differ from other approaches, she noted. Joe Hamilton, who lost an arm in a fireworks accident in, in 2013, he admitted that the technique was offered by scientists from the University of Michigan makes him feel like he has a hand again. Using that hand you can do anything with a real hand. This restores the feeling normality emphasized Hamilton. One of the biggest obstacles to mind-controlled prosthetics is to obtain a strong and stable nerve signal to feed bionic limb. Some research groups are directed to a primary source, brain. This is necessary when working with paralyzed people. But with on the other hand, it is invasive and high risk. Team Michigan came up with a completely different way. Taken from the thigh they wrapped the muscles around the nerve endings in the arms of the experiment participants. In this way, the damaged nerves received new tissue into which they could enter attach. Scientists noted that such a procedure prevents the formation of neuroblastomas and it gives the nerves the already mentioned megaphone, i.e. it strengthens nerve signals. During the experiments, two patients had implantations electrodes for muscle transplants, and these were able to record signals nervous and pass them on to the prosthetic limb in real time. Including in case, the muscle acts as a biological enhancer and causes tension to exist 10 100 times higher. I think it's safe to say that these are the biggest ones nerve signals recorded in humans so far, Chestek said. With other approaches, you can get 5 or even 50 microvolts. 
Using a biological enhancer, we saw the first millivolt signals. This opens up completely new opportunities for people using a prosthetic upper limb added. And that means more accurate movements. The team of scientists admitted that the current results are the result 12 years of work. Discovering how to amplify nerve signals will have far-reaching implications consequences for prosthetics, we hope that one day it will happen widely available. This technique applies to basically everyone amputated body part emphasized.